Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here with a demonstration on how our students use Zoom training and in this time of great need for virtual instruction as all the schools are closing and of course people uh, need to be able to connect to their schools and classes online. This is how you do Zoom since this is one of the primary platforms that uh, the schools are using. So uh, as soon as you open it, you are going to have, let me left arrow. Chat one, home tab, check selected. Okay, so you're gonna have four tabs, or basically what we call menus, and the way I explain it to the blind kids uh, is picture four pieces of paper. So you have your home, your home tab, and you're gonna move around that piece of paper and have all sorts of options. You're going to right arrow. Chat one of red messages tab, check. And you have your chat box chat option, you're going to tab around and have many options in that window. Red message. Meetings, tab, check. Meetings tab, you are going to tab around that window and have many options. Right arrow. Contacts, tab, check. And in your contacts, you're going to tab around and have many options. So now let's get down to the basics on how our students are going to join in and connect to people. Uh, and classrooms. We're back to home. If the student is required to call in, uh, home and contacts are going to be the easiest way to do it. It totally depends on how the teachers are going to give them their connection. One way, and it's probably going to be the primary way, is they're going to send a link in their email. So we'll hit that first, then we'll come back and show you how to connect in using home. So I'm going to open my browser. One, taskbar, Mozilla Firefox, land, Gmail, Gmail. For so they're going to open their browser and they're going to hit the letter X down to... X, table, column one, row one, main region, tab X. I'm going to just keep going. X. Oh, insert Z. Off. Okay, off. Now I'm going to go ahead and down arrow. Unread, HP, important, unread, me, please join Zoom. Okay, for the me, they're actually going to have the teacher's name there. And then they're going to go ahead and right arrow to please join Zoom meeting. Now if they have the cursor on, they're going to just hit X to the X box and then they're going to down arrow to please join meeting in progress. Hit enter. All they have to do is down arrow to the link. They will not have a password to this. This happens to be a particular meeting ID that I have for another account. They can just down arrow to that link, hit enter, and open it, and they will join in on class. So now let's go back and show you the other ways students can actually join in on classes. So let's Alt F4. F4 Here we are. Uh, let's Alt Tab to put Zoom into focus. Zoom Pro account to move to an item, press the arrow key. Then I'm going to hush them up. We are on the Home tab. And what you're going to notice as you listen and watch this video is you're going to hear identical um, operations when you move from your four main menu items into the pages. I'm on home. Now I'm going to tab. Search edit, type of text. You're going to hear search on each one of the menu items. Zoom, Denise Robinson, okay. status available. You're going to hear that. Zoom, the status of who you are. Setting button to activate, press space bar. Okay, most you'll hear settings, but not all. Starting a new meeting with video on button to activate, press space bar. Okay. Start a new meeting. Uh, most students are not going to be required to start their own meeting, but you can right there. The students are going to join. Option button drop down. Join button to activate. Press space and space bar. bar. Space. Please enter your meeting ID okay. or personal link name. Edit. Type. Now, remember what I said back in the Firefox, that meeting ID, and that is the number you are going to type in there. You type in the meeting ID, it's three numbers, two numbers, three numbers, and then you tab. History list button drop down. And I do have a join history. Escape list box. An extensive join history. And those are all of my codes. Escape meeting history list button drop down. Okay, so once the student uses it, all they have to do is go to their drop down menu, makes it much easier. Hit enter on that meeting ID. Enter your name edit, Denise okay. Robinson. There's Type my text. name. Do not connect to audio checkbox, not checked. Okay. Uh, the, the teacher may and or may not, there's a lot of teachers who are just learning this platform also. Uh, if you join with your audio and the teacher says, please stop your audio, that's going to be Alt-A. Alt-A is a toggle to start and stop audio. 
So that's going to be up to whether you have that checked or not. It does not matter. You've got the hotkey, Alt A, and that will start and stop your audio. My video checkbox checked. So okay. Uh, most students, the teacher wants to see that they're there, so you probably want to uncheck that. Space, Once check. again, video, Alt V is going to start and stop your video, and then you tab Cancel button to, add join meeting. to join meeting. I, of course, don't have a meeting set up, so I'm not going to be joining a meeting on this recording, and I will actually connect other uh, end screens to this video so you can actually see uh, other students and myself doing Zoom so you can become even more acquainted with it. Let's hit Escape. Escape. Join button not available. Okay. Now, and all your features, share screen is going to be Alt S. Uh, and most teachers don't want to hear your audio, so you're just going to do Alt S and you're just going to tab to share screen. That's it. As you tab, you're going to hear share computer sound. You're not going to do that because your teacher is not going to want to hear your talking uh, software. You can also schedule that, but you don't have to worry. Your teacher will be sending you these links. Lest, you can either shift tab or tab back up to your home button. I'm just going to tab forward. Schedule button to share screen button. Share option button. Friday, March 13th. Change background image. No upcoming meeting. Home tab check selected. Now we're back to pages. home. Risk. Okay. Now, you can right arrow, Chat 100 messages tab. Okay, so you can tab in here and text someone. Search edit, type in text. Okay, you can actually type in the name. D-E-N-I-E, Denise, menu, search in messages for Denise. Yep. Press enter to view Denise Robinson. And menu. down arrow and hit enter. Enter, leaving menus, what's on your mind, edit, okay. what's on your mind, type in text. It immediately pops me to my text box so I can say, Oops. mispronounced that one. Okay. What is the assignment today? And enter. That easy. So, once you're on chat, you tab to search, you type in the person's name, you automatically jump right to the text box, and you type in the text. That easy, that fast. Let's tab back around. And I'm back to chat. Let's go ahead and go to... Meeting. Meeting. Okay. Now, if the teacher sets up you and another student that they need to, you need to join together and call someone, this is just one way of doing it. Let me go ahead and show you how to do this. You're in your meetings. Now tab. Search edit. Type text. Keep going. Zoom. Denise Robinson. Refresh button to activate. Press upcoming Keep meeting. Keep going. Tab. Schedule meeting button. And by the way, on the upcoming meetings, as soon as you're scheduled in, it will come here. Okay? My personal meeting. My DPMI 8053. Yep. My personal meeting. My DPMI. Personal meeting. My deep start meeting button to Here's activate. Here's start meeting. Now, you can tab to copy invitation. And you can edit this also. I'm just going to take it from start button and space bar. Space. Zoom. Here we go. Windows up here, Windows maximize. Are using the computer audio. Okay, now let's go through the commands. If you're a visual, you actually see red in lines meeting. strike through uh, the options. So, so the first thing I need to do is Alt A. Alt the audio now muted. Okay. You are muted. Press Alt A to unmute your microphone or press. And it tells you, the talking software tells you Alt A and unmute. Alt -A. Okay, start video. Alt V. Audio, Alt -V. Okay. Video There's a video. Started. Hi, everybody. Okay, Alt V and stop. Alt V. Video okay. now stop. So if you need to show your students something, uh, often like when the students get stuck on their Braille, they can actually turn on their video and actually show them the Braille or the Nemeth code, and I can help them with the video code uh, with the Braille or Nemeth. Invite Alt I. Alt I menu bar. Leaving menus. Invite people to join. Okay. Tab. Contacts. Tab. Type and select the person. Type the filter edit. So this is e. how easy this e. is. Let's see e. who am I going to invite? K Let's I do. Z. Invite people to join. Meet okay. Against your list box. And this box, the down arrow. arrow. So you tab once, down arrow, and there button. she is. Now, she's not online, Space. but if I hit enter on her name, then the invite highlights, and I can tab right to invite. Copy URL but she's not online. I could copy the URL, the URL and actually send that in email. Copy invitation. I can copy the invitation and send that via email. Contacts tab check selected okay. to switch pages. Press control page down. Okay, I'm going to control page down to email. Email tab check selected. Or just right arrow. Press control page down. 
and here you are in email, and you can just email this. Choose your email service the default email button, okay. the Gmail button to activate press space And spacebar. Space, space, Zoom meeting ID. And we go to email. ZP toolbar parent. I'm going to hush them up. Okay, we're going to pretend we're just setting this to me. Okay. Okay, and then tab in and just listen to your meeting. Subject edit. Please join Zoom meeting mm -hmm. in progress. Type of text. And so you're already going to have this. This is going to pop up in your person's email, all the other, your teammates that you're sending this to. Message body edit contains text. Type and text. here it is. So, there it is. Meeting ID. You don't need the meeting ID, but you can still have it. This meeting ID will work for absolutely um, anyone. Uh, this happened to be my meeting ID, so if you know I am doing a lesson at 3 o'clock on Wednesday, and there's just different ways you can join. So your teachers will send this Zoom meeting, but you don't have to have it as long as you have the teacher's meeting ID. You can just type it in, and, uh, and it will go. I'm going to control enter and send this. That's it. Okay, Alt F4. Alt F4. Zoom meeting ID okay. Now, uh, Alt Q is quit. Let's uh, actually let's go through chat. So you're going to do Alt H. Alt H. Zoom group chat. Okay. What was that? Okay. And what's so great is everybody's going to be texting. You will hear this also. So this is uh, just really easy. Uh, so let me show you another trick. So you want to shift tab one time. More chat options button drop down. Okay, more chat options, space bar. Space, context menu to navigate, press up or down arrow, save chat. Okay, so you can save chat to refer to later. Let's say if it's a math class and they put a whole bunch of math in there. No one unchecked. Okay, no one. Post only. Unchecked. Post only. So you can actually text the teacher, which is going to be the host. Everyone publicly unchecked. Okay, everyone publicly or. Everyone publicly and privately checked. Okay. So you can hit enter on any one of those and it will automatically go to them. Okay, hit escape. 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 And now tab around to your close box. Input chat text type message meeting information button button. Okay. Copy URL button C. And hit escape. escape. Okay, let's go through other ones. You've got your chat option. Raise your hand. Alt Y. Alt Y. Leaving menus. More chat options button yeah. drop down. I can't raise my own hand myself. <laughs> Okay, make sure your meeting controls are in focus and Alt Y and you will raise your hand to get the teacher's atten attention. Okay, if you want to uh, record this, ask the teacher to record this. Now, Alt R will immediately start recording it, but I am the host. I can tell you, if you're the host, you can go ahead and record with Alt R. It will record it right to your uh, computer. But if your teacher is, ask them to Alt R record the lesson, then they can send you the recording. I'm going to exit out of here with Alt Q. Alt Q, add meeting or leave meeting yep. to key and space, enter. start meeting button not available okay. to active. Now, let's do another option. Let's go ahead and tap. Copy meeting invitation inform edit tap meeting again. button to active. Keep going. Meeting invitation button to active meeting tab check okay. selected. So all of those are exactly the same. Copy invitation, you're going to show meeting invitation, but it's much faster to start it and then just send it out. Let's go ahead and right arrow. Okay, this is an incredibly easy way to call. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tab around again. Okay, let's say you want to populate someone's name right to the top. So I'm just going to type in a student. Okay. And down arrow. There he is. And enter. Okay, you can text your student. Okay, are you ready? I'm not going to do this. He's offline and I don't want him to uh, accidentally get this later. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tab back to contacts. Chat, one of red messages, tab chat. it's one of my four or two of my four, so I'm going to write arrow. Tab, contacts, tab, chat. Now I'm in my contacts. So let's say he texts me. He says, yes, I'm ready. So I'm going to go ahead and call. Search edit, type of Keep text. going. Boom. Again. Directory, tab, check selected. Okay. Directory and channel button drop okay. down. Directory and channel drop down. Let's say you need to add someone here. Hit space, space bar. Context menu to navigate. Okay. Press up or down arrow. Add a contact. And you can add a contact here. If you go down, you can create a channel, join a channel, add an app. But we want to add a contact, so you're just going to hit enter on that. Leaving menus. Okay, let's D just so in here. Okay, so I'm adding Denise M. Robinson at yourtechvision.com. I'm just going to tab and hit spacebar. Okay, 
and tab. An invitation has been sent to Dennis and Rubens and your division. OK button. And space bar. So this invitation will go out similar to the meeting ID that I uh, showed you, and the person will accept it, and they will actually come up in my groups. Now let's take a look at the groups. Victory list box. Okay, list box. Press the arrow keys. Okay. And it tells you move to list box and now down arrow. Start. 12 members. Okay. Yes, Berlin Milder. Status okay. is offline. So let's say she is online. This is a person I want to call. I'm going to tab. Chat button to activate. Okay. Press space bar. We already passed the chat, but we've got chat here also. Okay. Meet with video button to activate. Okay. Press space bar. As soon as I hit enter on that, I would go into the exact same window that I was in before when I was in meetings. Now, if this is a person you're using constantly, tab one more time. To activate, okay. press space bar. Here are more options. Now hit space bar. Space, context menu to navigate, press okay. up or down arrow, meet with video. Okay, you can meet with video. So here's all your other little um, items. If you don't remember the Alt V and Alt A and all the other Alts, just remember all your commands start with Alt, so it makes it really, really easy to remember. Let's go ahead and go down. Without video, okay. notify me when available. Okay, this is very, very handy. So if you're the one that's making the call to your group, you can just hit notify me when available, and you'll actually go off and do your other work, and you'll hear a ding, notify me when available, and it will say, that it is available. And you can Alt-Tab right back to your Zoom meeting and start joining them. Others. Okay, you can invite others. Start this okay. This is gonna say star this contact, because of course all of these uh, are my students and of course I quickly connect to them but I've starred them so they're at the very very top. You also have block contact, clear chat history, and delete contact. I'm going to hit escape. Out of escape. escape. Okay? So those are the basics. Uh, those are very very handy. It, Zoom is incredibly easy to use. All those options. The big one for our students or anyone who might have difficulties in following along a lesson is asking the instructor to do Alt-R to record the lesson so you can have them send you the lesson and it will come to you either as an MP4 or an MP3. And if you get the, the wrong lesson sent to you, just ask them. Many people don't know the difference between MP3 and MP4. Remember, MP3 is audio, MP4 is audio and video. So that is how easy Zoom is. Uh, there's a lot more facets to this. Those are the basics. This is to get people up and running. I will also um, add end screens to this video so you can see other students doing it. Okay, I hope that helps. Ask as more questions come up and I'd be more than happy to put out more videos on this. If you like this channel, uh, go ahead and give a thumbs up and send me uh, an email to Denise M. Robinson at yourtechvision.com and would be more than happy to put more videos out for you on instruction. Talk to you later.